The most interesting feature of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite is the S Pen. Samsung built in lots of software features for it, but you've got to find them first. I'm NJ from MyNextTablet.com and here are the best features for the S Pen. Let's get started. Before we start, I'd like to thank our sponsor ExpressVPN. With the VPN, you can hide your IP address or encrypt your internet connection. That means your data is secure even if you connect to some weird Wi-Fi while traveling or so. Or you can use it to watch movies from Netflix and others that are not available in your location. ExpressVPN is the biggest premium VPN provider with over 3000 servers in 94 countries. My next tablet viewers get 3 free months extra when purchasing the 12 months plan. You can find the link in the description below. Alright, let's start with the S Pen. The S Pen is included at no extra charge. So if you pay 379 euros, you get the tablet and the S Pen. The iPad 7 costs about the same, but with that one you've got to buy the pen separately. And the same usually goes for Microsoft and Huawei, you often have to buy the pen separately. So I really like that Samsung is including them at no extra charge. Well, this is a pen. It looks a little bit different than the S Pen for the Galaxy Tab S6. It's a bit thinner, but it is much thicker than the S Pens for the Galaxy Note series. By the way, all those S Pens are interchangeable. You can use another S Pen with this tablet and you can use this S Pen with the Galaxy Note or with the Galaxy Tab S6 if you like. So they're all interchangeable. So let's quickly go around the pen a bit. We've got the Samsung logo here. We've got one button. We'll get to that button later. Then we've got a pressure sensitive tip. It supports over 4000 pressure points and that's it. It's made out of plastic but it doesn't feel cheap. It feels quite nice. It obviously has like a grayish color here and yeah it seems to be pretty well made. It does feel like a pencil, like a typical pencil. Most normal pens are a bit thicker but this is more like of a standard pencil I would say. It does not have any battery and it does not have Bluetooth which the pen for the um, normal S6 has, but it still has some magnets in it so you can put it to the side of the tablet like this and it sits quite secure so you won't lose it as easily. And if you get the official book cover, which makes it, yeah, the book cover is quite nice, it makes it a bit more elegant, but I'm not sure if I would recommend it, it's quite pricey, but it does have a nice place for the pen. So if you want to spend a bit more for a cover, you also get this nice magnetic place for the pen with the book cover. Alright, let's get to the most interesting features of the S Pen and the most interesting feature is the Samsung Notes app that's pre-installed on pretty much every Samsung device actually, but it's mostly useful with an S Pen like we have here. It is a standard note app. As you can see, you can create several notes, you can share them with friends and so on. And yeah, let's just us Let's just do that. We can start a new node here and then you can choose between three different modes here. First of all, you've got a standard text mode where you can use either the built-in keyboard or you can use the Bluetooth keyboard just like you would with any other notes app. Then we've got the pen input here, the standard note, like a notebook. You can write here. So this is a test. This is another test. Now my handwriting is pretty bad but what you maybe have seen is that I can put my palm on here fully. I can fully place my arm on the screen and it does not draw when I like, go around here. It just draws when I'm using the pen. So it does have pretty good palm rejection. It works quite well. Anyway, we also got this little thing here and if you go there then you can use it as something to paint. Like you can select several kinds of brushes and then paint something or draw something. It's just a standard drawing feature but it works quite nice. And there you can also see here the pressure sensitivity. If I press harder it gets to a thicker line. If I press very lightly it has a slimmer line. And then if I press harder it gets to a thicker line again. Alright, let's hit done. And by the way all those notes can be in one note, like you can have some written text, you can have the drawing in one note and you can have the handwriting in one note as well. So you can have everything together, then you can save it and either you can share it or just keep it for your notes. Let's check out the so-called air commands. They are a very important feature 
of S Pen tablets. If you just use the S Pen, if you have it hovering um, above the screen, then this little icon here pops up. And once you press on it, you get to these so-called air commands. And there are many of them and you can edit them in the settings. If you go here to shortcuts, then you can put several and you can delete them or put them back in like this. We'll put them anywhere. You can also put other apps here, but those are just normal shortcuts. So they've got nothing to do with the pen in specific, unless you're downloading another notes app or a PDF annotation app or something. So let's check out the air commands. And for those, I'm having a video running. You will see why in a moment. You can open the air commands over every app. It's YouTube at the moment. And the first one, the most important one, obviously, is create a note. So you can very quickly start a new note. And then you can start with your writing and write a note and so on. And then you can save it and then it's saved in your Samsung Notes app. A very interesting feature is that you can adjust the transparency. And that's why I'm having a video running because let's say you are watching a lecture, maybe you're a student somewhere, or maybe you're having a video call at work or something like that, then you can still write notes and see everything. You can see everything in full screen, but still write some notes and you can adjust the transparency to how you want it. So I think that's a very useful feature that um, obviously not everybody needs, but some people might find it very useful. So that's just a create the note air command. Now the view notes option just takes you to the Samsung Notes app. What's more interesting is Smart Select. With this one, you can select anything on the screen like I am doing now, like this picture and maybe a little bit of text. And then you can do several things. First of all, you could extract the text. Let's say if this is an image with text then you could extract the text and then you can copy and paste it wherever you want. Or for example, you can annotate this selection and let's say nice picture. Obviously you can adjust the color here to make it look a bit nicer. And then you can save it as a JPEG and you can send it to your friends or to your work or so on. So that's basically a screenshot of a specific part of the screen that you can then annotate or do other things with. Now another feature that's very useful for many people is that you can take a screenshot and then annotate the whole screenshot. For that you go to the air commands again and then you select screen right. You press it and then the screenshot is taken and then you can annotate it and say it needs different headline or whatever and then you can again save it and share it or just save it for yourself. So that's a feature that's been part of the Galaxy tablets since basically forever since the first tablets with pen support and since the first Galaxy Note smartphones you could do this, take a screenshot and annotate it. Now the next feature is called live messages and it's not that useful for productive things but it's more a fun thing that you can do with your friends or your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Um, let me show you what you can do. You can select a background here and then you can start draw your live message. I will change the color here to a pink and then I can draw a heart like this. Obviously it's not a beautiful heart um, but then I can press done and then it's drawing this heart and I can save it either as a um, mp4 file or as a gif. So yeah you can send it using whatsapp or another messenger app or using email or whatever. Um, so you can draw some live messages. Again not very useful but it might be fun to do with your friends. And apps that might be very interesting, especially for kids. So if you want to learn drawing is pen up and also there's coloring, which takes you to a part of pen up. Pen up is an app that is pre-installed on the tablet, just like the Samsung notes app. So let's start it. You can sign up if you want, but you don't have to. And let's see what we can do. First of all, you can do coloring, which basically is just a standard coloring book. So I already did some drawings like here with this dinosaur or here and then you can start coloring and then you can just color in. I don't want to rate it right now. So you can select a pen and then you can select a color and then you can start to paint in. Now if you can't draw as precisely, I can't for instance, then you can just use this bucket option here and just fill in things 
at once. You can choose different colors, of course, and then yeah, you see what you can do with just a coloring book, basically. I'm sure that's very interesting for kids. Again, they always want you to sign up, but you don't really have to. Um, you can also do live drawings, which is interesting if you want to learn how to draw. For example, let's learn how to draw those fries. I can't draw and yeah, this can teach me to draw. All right, basically they draw for you. You see how they draw something and then you can select your pen and then you can follow along. Obviously I'm not doing it correctly right now. But yeah, hit play again and then I see what else they are doing. And then I can follow along in between. And yeah, this way you can learn how to draw. That's quite interesting. Another feature that's quite interesting is called glance. For that you go to the air commands again and then you hit the glance icon here. And now I can open the notes app or something else and start to write a note. Let me put this over there. So I start a new note and let's say I'm doing some research, I'm writing down my notes, but then I need to see what I did research of, what I was reading, then I can hover over here and then I can read what I was doing, then I can put the pen away again and then I can continue my notes or my Word document or whatever. So it's a quite an interesting and for many people maybe useful multitasking feature. You can basically switch between two apps very fast just by yeah, pressing here and then putting the pen away again. So that can be quite useful. That's called glance. Now another feature that's not that useful are the AR drawings. It's called AR Doodle. I believe Samsung introduced, introduced it with the Galaxy Tab S6. So let's hit it. No, it took a while to get loaded and there's already something on my face. I don't know why, maybe because I drew something earlier. Anyway, I can select different pens and colors and so on and then I can draw in this space because it's AR, right? Like augmented reality and it doesn't work that amazing. I try to draw myself some ears here or draw something around my glasses and then it should follow me. You can record it as a video. Yeah, I'm not sure how useful that really is. It's more something maybe you use once for fun and then never again. At least that's what I'm doing. I don't think I will open it again after showing this to you right now. All right, you see the handwriting recognition right now. It works pretty well. I've been writing in German because I've got the keyboard set to German at the moment. The handwriting recognition has nothing to do with the Samsung Notes app or so. It's built into the keyboard that you can use everywhere. You can use it in Word, in Chrome, in your Messenger, in Gmail and so on. It's just a standard Samsung keyboard that's shipped with this tablet. So if you are in a text field, it doesn't matter which one, you can just press this icon here and then you get to the handwriting recognition. And then you can just do your normal handwriting and it gets transformed into a standard computer text. It works quite well. You've got to be a little bit careful, try to do some good handwriting, try to write clean, but then it should work quite well. At least in my experience, the Samsung handwriting recognition has been pretty good. You can, again, you can use it everywhere where there's a standard text field like here. One of the most interesting features is called Screen of Memo. And with that one, you can start to take a note with the screen being turned off. Let's say you are in a meeting, but you quickly need to take some notes, but you don't want to put in your password or your pin or so on. Then you just press the pen button here and you tip on the screen and then you can immediately start to take some notes without having to unlock it or anything. You just take some notes and then you can save it in the Samsung Notes app. It's a very fast and efficient way to take some notes. Also this means that if you know somebody who has a tablet like this, doesn't matter which Samsung tablet or with pen support this screen of memo, it means you can prank them because you can save a note in their Samsung Notes app without having to unlock the tablet first. So be careful that you don't get pranked. You can turn off the feature if you want. Um, but yeah, you can also prank others by putting some notes into their notes without having to know any password or so. Now there's one feature missing that we sometimes get with Samsung S Pen devices and sometimes we don't and that's the translation feature. 
This one does not. The Galaxy Tab S6, I believe, had the translation feature, but the Galaxy Tab A 8 inch with S Pen didn't either. And this one doesn't as well. So you can't use the standard translation feature, but you can use Bixby Vision. It hasn't been that amazing the times I tried it. Um, yeah, but you can use it. For example, we can select some text here and then we can use this to translate it. You can also um, use it to look up things to shop. Um, you can analyze photos that will tell you where something is taken and here it translates. But you've seen it takes quite a while. It's not that fast and I just haven't been that happy with Bixby Vision. It doesn't seem to work as flawlessly as I hope, but it does work. You can translate stuff here. It's translated from English into German at the moment. And um, yeah, so stuff like this with Bixby Vision works. You can also have it read QR codes and so on, or look up photos. So yeah, that's Bixby Vision, just so you know about it, but it hasn't been that amazing. At least I didn't find it that amazing. Now there are several things you can adjust in the settings for the S Pen and for that let's quickly go to the settings. You just go to the standard settings and then you go to advanced features and then you go to S Pen and there you can manage several things. For instance, at the moment I've got turned on that if you write, there's a very slight sound that makes it sound like you're writing on paper, but that's just coming from the speakers. It's if you write, there's no sound at all because you're writing with a bit of plastic on glass and there's no sound when you do, but you can turn on the sound if you want. Um, yeah, there's several things you can turn on or off. For example, the screen off memo, if you don't want to get pranked, um, then you can turn it off if you want. There's something called air view. That means if you hover over your calendar, for example, it shows you the appointments and you can turn off the pointer. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but if you use the pen, there's always a little pointer, which I found quite useful. You can turn it off if you want. So yeah, stuff like this you can adjust in the settings. The shortcuts here are for the air commands for these. All right, these are the most interesting features for the S Pen. Is there anything I missed and you like to use? Write us in the comments because I'm sure every owner of this tablet will be interested in those. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I've got lots more videos about this tablet lined up. I'm NJ from mynexttablet.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Wow, 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 wow.